Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions here. And in this video, you can probably guess, I'll be showing you my new Admiral YG713 clock radio from 1965. Um, go ahead and take a look at it here. As you can see, very nice. It's got an on-off switch here and an auto. It's got a clock right there. It's got an AM radio dial there, AM only. It's got a nice Admiral logo there. As you can see, it's a little dirty, but I did do my best to clean it up. Got a volume knob here, which we'll be trying out in a minute. Got a speaker there. And uh, I've got an old video, it's actually the second video I ever put up of another old radio, um, an RCA, I believe. And um, compared the two, these two are exactly the same width, and this one's a little bit taller than that one. It's got a little bit bigger speaker as well. So, isn't that fantastic? Um, here on the top, we've got something quite interesting. It's got a little sticker on it from when it was purchased, actually. And this radio was actually purchased on, it would appear, July 17th, 1971, which would have been six years after this radio was manufactured. Um, I have to assume out here in the Western Auto, which is still in operation as of right now, um, I've got to imagine they've still got probably a couple of these in stock somewhere in the back room. Um, so, go ahead and flip it around, and I did... The um, the owner of this radio had their name written on it, so that's why the um, scraggly piece of paper here on top taped to it. Did not want that name to be in the video. So, we'll go ahead and take a look at the back here. The back's not too interesting. Let's see, instructions on how to set the time. Operates on AC only. Direct current will burn out the clock motor. How to service the tubes. Here we've got another Admiral Corporation, Chicago, Illinois. Power cable. Power cable's still in pretty decent shape. It was roughed up a little bit though right here. Had a couple, couple marks on it where the... Um, the wire was exposed, so had to fix that. Go ahead and show you the bottom here carefully. You can see here the chassis number and the model number. Another nice information. Admiral logo there. And I would like to go ahead and show you the inside of the radio. So if you'll give me just a moment. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. What we got in here is some vacuum bulbs. And what I really wanted to show was the date stamp, which is right there. It's hard to see. But it's right there, as you can see. December 13th, 65. And we're going to get that to focus one more time. And there it is. 65. Alright. Got the tubes here. This camera don't want to zoom back out. Getting the same problems as my old one was. Anyway. You can look at that if you want to. It's a little sticker right down there wasn't stuck anymore. It's kind of gotten stuck back there now though. It won't come out. Um, it actually says on it, made in USA though. So I think that's pretty cool. So now I'll go ahead and flip it back around. Let's see, we gotta put the back back on. So how was your day, viewer? What made you click on this video? You're probably wondering the same thing now, aren't you? Now you might be wondering, if you are an attentive viewer, you will have noticed on the AM radio dial, this seems to have 
Conalrad markings on it, but Conalrad was, I guess, discontinued in 1963. This radio is from 1965. And, um, well, you probably know better than me, so go ahead and leave me a, a strongly worded comment on why that is so. So anyway, we'll go ahead and flip it on. And, um, turn the volume about just a little, a little up. And as you'll see, it does actually work to some degree. is trying to communicate with us. This is actually vibrating the floor. That's probably not a good thing, is it? Well, that's over. Um, we have uh, communicated successfully with someone, I believe. Um, so that is the Admiral, oh Lord, I don't remember the model number, um, YG713, right? Yeah. And um, I think I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. Um, Thanks for watching.